Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. We are continuing our journey on the megalomaniac map and we need to um, um, pick up this town over here. And by the way, that town needs a bit of a name and I'm going to do that right now. Um, thank you again for all the comments. I've had some comments about suggesting that we need to do some proper transport planning over here in terms of laying out some public transport routes um, to come over here and I think it's a very good idea for us to potentially start looking at trams for the first time in Chaos Grad and then also Doc Kevin um, tells me that I need to look at the lines in terms of their rates for, for um, the, the rates and uh, le less frequency and more rates for the uh, for the for the for this for the for the freight stuff. So rates is in, in fact saying 75 per minute, I believe, is what's being transported or something to that, to that, that effect. So we know that we need more than, than that because I think one town alone needs more than that. Exactly. So we can, can quickly and easily double up tons, tons more of this stuff. But in, in that regard, let's quickly mosey on over here to the current town of Dulverton. And we are going to rename it to <clears throat> Kevinport. Okay, welcome to the town of Kevinport, um, and it's uh, it's going to be Kip, uh, no Kit, Kit. There we go, there we go. So that's the town of um, of Kevinport over here, and let's just quickly double check that we've got these named properly. So we need to, I'll call it Kitport, like so, and then this is, yeah, well, it's going to be pretty much the same, Kitport Freight. Kit port freight. Uh, oh no no, kit freight port. <laughs> that's better. There we go. Nice. So that's um, in place there now. So Dr. Kevin, you've got a town named after you for uh, for keep for continuously reminding me of things like the rate and the uh, calculations. That's awesome. Okay, now let's uh, before we hook that up. I would like us to. Oh, and what is this called? This is Chaos Grad Port. That's brilliant. Oh, that's fine. We don't need to rename that at all. Uh, but what I want to do is actually get a bit of a tram connection going on over here. So if we go to the roads and we would like to uh, grab this one, give it a bus lane, right? And have tram track electric on there. And then we'll go and see how does that, how does that, ooh, that's not quite what I had in mind, is it? <laughs> uh, that's too much. That is too much. So that, I don't, can, I, can I undo that? No, I cannot. So if I then just go back to, um, let's just go with keep and, ooh, actually no and keep. And yes, and then just could do like the standard road over here. Yes, that's what I want. I believe that should be fine, right? Can we go out of there? There we go. That's going to be just fine. So that's going to be like the area where they're going to just stop and so on. Okay. So with that in mind, let's uh, let's continue to improve the the section section that we want to put that on. So let's go down here. Okay. How are we going to do this? We definitely want them to run all the way down here. And I will need to upgrade that. And now the question is, do we run a tram up the middle? I think we do. And then go out over there. I think that's going to be just fine. If we just run the tram up here, up the middle. And then the question is, do we just go out and turn it over there? So this is a bigger road. So let's, um, let's move ourselves over to the bigger road plus tram track. There we go quite useful and then we'll turn it out for that way it's actually going to work to do it that way it's a little awkward that uh, that whole setup there and then that kind of moves back into a slightly smaller road but i'm wondering maybe we should in fact upgrade this uh, if we do this right i'm just going to take it out of contention completely Maybe we maybe we just leave it like that for now and we'll we'll deal with it. So now we can have basically point to point tram services running in here. We just need to go ahead, configure and make sure that this is tram and tram. Yeah, that's what I want. Tram and tram. Perfect. 
Now we'll get out of there. So that should now be absolutely fine. The tram can go in here, do the little loop and come back out and make use of that stop there. I think that's the perfect one. Uh, we have, yeah, we should have stops there. Now, in terms of tram stops, I want to run the trams up this main road here. So let's grab our tram building pieces. Well, we don't need anything fancy, but I'm happy to do a couple of tram stops here. Ooh, let's do it. Oh, there's a stop on that side. So let's just do one over here as well. So we'll do on both sides of the road. Um, and then there's another one over here and we'll do both sides of the road. I'll keep the, I mean, we'll keep the buses as is. I'm going to come out over here. We don't need anything right over here just yet, but potentially we can have a stop here so that this area can start growing. Not sure we need it straight away, but we'll add them here now. And we'll go, oops, that's far out, man. Then I'll do another maybe stop over here somewhere so that this area can grow at some point and we'll get this area over here. So we'll get a stop here and a stop there and or alternatively, let's delete that stop. Well, we don't, we'll, we'll not delete it. We just won't use it. So if we go back into the roads, we just, I forgot to do that little section here. So that it can actually, in fact, do a little loop and go back. So that's basically the line. So let's quickly add a new line. We're going to go ahead and start it off over here. And I want to make sure that it's going to make use of... Is it one, two, three? Yeah, it's going to be one. So one, I believe, is going to be up there. Okay. Then we're going to hit this one. Uh, I'm thinking the other side, really. Then that one. Yeah, that's better. Then this one. Then that one. Then this one. Then this one again. Then this one again. And this one again. And then we're back. There we go. So that is our tram line. And now I'm thinking, so we did road and, and, and track, right? Now, what is this? <laughs> I don't think that through. Okay, so the, the name for this is going to be, um, well, is it trolley bus or is it tram or what is it? So we just do TR, actually T, TB, maybe trolley bus or something like that. Oh man, the naming, I'm telling you. CGD, and this is going to be tram. Well, it's passengers, really passengers. There we go. CGD local passengers. Local passengers. There we go. Something like that. Okay. Now what we don't have is a tram depot. So we need to build that. So let's go buildings, tram depot somewhere, road depot. There we go. Tram depot over here. And I kind of, I'm kind of tempted to squeeze it in over here next to the, um, next to the rail line. If it can fit. It can, in fact, fit. I think it's not the it's not the greatest use of that space. Well, it's not the greatest. It's a good use of the space. It's not the greatest um, um, intersection that we've got going on over there. I think this, something like that, should probably be okay. So there we go. We've got a depot going on over there. So now I will go ahead and buy a few vehicles. What are we going to do? We're just going to go with the uh, T1 over here. It's nice and quick, takes a lot of people, um, and we'll just go with like, I think four of them for the time being. Buy like four of them, and they all go onto this line over there. What is missing? What are you saying? Unable to find a path, missing electric tracks, really? Did I not? Oh, this is not electrified. The entire thing is not electrified. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Okay, so now I just need to make sure that we need, well, ah, electric is the one I'm after. Okay, so if we go there, didn't want to do that. There is electric uh, stuff in here, but I don't want it to, don't do the entire thing, guys. So if we do this, we do that, we do this, we do that. Try and run it all. Why is it not doing its thing here? Okay, there it is. There it is. That should be fine. All electric down there. That's electric going there and there. 
that big one is not electric so let's just get the electric in here as well electric electric I uh, completely forgot to do that okay and then back to the small street and down here down there but what I'm wondering about is this uh, station over here now. So electric vehicles should not have a big deal with the issues. Ah, that is electric. So that's great stuff. So the only section we're now missing. Oh no, is this electric? That should be fine. Is, uh, ooh, that's going to work. And then that's going to work. G great stuff. And that's electric also. So now if we try that again, it should be fine. Do that and say go. There they go. Welcome trams. We've got some trams on the track. Excellent. Why are you... Why are you going into this direction? Oh no. Doesn't really make a difference, but you're going to stop on the wrong side here. I'd rather have you stop on the other side. Anyway. Not the end of the world. There we go. So now we've got that going on. So we've got some trams running down. We probably need more trams. Now, all the way down to Kevin Port. So let's do some, some stuff over here. Uh, we've got our basics in here. Should we run a tram in Kevin Port as well? I think we can. We can run a bit of a... Ooh, actually, tram will not work unless you run... Yeah, we might do a nice long city at some point in which a tram will run up the coast here. But I think we're going to go start off with some buses at the first uh, in the first instance. So let's go. If you believe we should use another mode, um, you're uh, as part of the planning by committee in this series. You're welcome to tell me that in the Discord or in the comments down below. Now, where we need to definitely want to maybe get a couple of stops. If we do a stop there and a stop there, and this can, can go tram at some point, then I'm quite keen to do maybe a stop here and there, and that will pick up most of that. Then we can go around this corner and pick up some stuff over here. I think over there is going to be closest to, because these guys, but they might, might actually be able to walk over this way. If we do it in here though, up here, we're not actually picking up a lot. Mm. Anyway, we may be doing that. Yes, I think that's a that's a decent place to stop. And then the question is, do we go all the way on the outside? I think we go all the way on the outside. So we'll go up here, get another couple of stops there, and we'll maybe go all the way into this area with a couple of stops, and then that'll finish it off. Nice. Okay, now let's grab ourselves a, a line here. And we'll say uh, we're going to start here. This is no uh, central. We need to change that name still. Up there, up there, up there, over there, and in. Yeah, I like I like the way we're running through there. And this will be uh, this will be road based uh, kit local uh, actually kit local. What how did we call the others? Uh, P1. Mm. P1. There we go. We'll do another. This way. That one. That one. Like so. And this will be, again, this will be like road. Get local P2. And there we go. Now, we don't have a... A station of sorts so let's quickly get ourselves a little bit of a, a building as a depot a depot of sorts we don't so let's grab a depot probably gonna place it maybe off that small road over there I think something like that is quite useful yeah right in the middle there could be could be good and we will go ahead and buy some vehicles uh, just gonna grab some of these guys maybe like six per route Buy six of them and put them on kit local. Kit local one. Buy six more. And put them on kit local two. If I can find it. There we go. Okay, so now we've got some feeder routes running and operating over here. What I thought we'd do is we, we now also need a bit of a ship. Um, a shipyard. Oh, and the shipyard can actually squeeze in right over here, I think. 
if we can yeah actually i'm i'm quite oh i'm quite comfortable oh actually we've got to we've got to require uh, leave a bit of room for uh for a, a stop here so something like this i think could be fine then we can still expand that should we want to but yeah that should be should be quite good over there now let's get ourselves a bit of a route going so now we want kit port to chaos grad port over here that's it and this will be called water water kit to um, cgd and this is passengers here we go that should be fine nice very good very good now let's get a couple of boats to do that journey for us um, we would like some passenger boats so all of these are passenger so that's 25 kilometers 28 30 kilometers and 32 kilometers 130 passengers yeah i'm thinking we're going to go with the schaffhausen schaffhausens uh, these guys are bigger though and they can carry different stuff the question is can they carry it at the same time well we don't have the different stops though 1985 is when this one operated as I, I kind of like this one a little bit better but maybe the river riverboat the klondike riverboat look is is a little bit better actually uh, emissions this one has more emissions large it's not as quick lifespan is 12 years both of them Operating cost on the Klondike is a little cheaper. Let's let's go with that. We'll get two of them and We will assign them to our to our line here uh, Unable to find a path no big ships for big ships. Oh hang on Over here. I never fixed it. So let's just quickly fix that configure this guy um, Get rid of this one uh, Give me my passenger. What is this small dock large dock? my passenger dock um, over here and I kind of think that's going to be if okay we can squeeze it in like this it's not going to be the end of the world to do that though but if we do this we can do multiple ones and there should still be sufficient room so let's do that and we'll grab ourselves some landings big landings on this side and on that side thank you and now I believe that should work and I think that's far enough out of the way to allow passing by quite easily this one has uh, done that one much better though. So let's go back over here and we'll assign there and now it should work. So there we go. Thank you very much. Let's just see as they come out. I just want to make sure we are in fact um, getting them to kind of go into both directions. Yeah, so now they're kind of uh, splitting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop this one here for the time. And then what we'll do is I'll wait for this one to get to the other one and then we'll, we'll start this one to run. Okay, so now there should be um, connectivity through here. Why is, oh, that's a train. I thought, why is my tram running down this road? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give that guy a bit of a head start so we can get out over there. Maybe we'll see some people uh, moving around over here. We could also move some of this stuff from here to there so that we can get the same materials out to Kevin Port via ship. That's uh, not too bad. And I think I need to do a little bit more road planning in here so that we can see the expansion of our town. I want to make it a little bit more interesting as well. That guy is tediously slow. We'll probably need at least two more. <laughs> when uh, when they both pass each other in the center, I'll, I'll try and do another. Well, we'll add one more and then see about that. We probably need at least four of them on this uh, to be able to get any kind of proper frequency on this line, as uh, Dr. Kevin will tell me. I'm sure. Okay. Our money is looking absolutely awesome. We're making tons of it. And I do need to add some more trains to our, our, our freight lines. Why are you... Why are you parking over here? <laughs> are you taking the scenic route? That's a little weird. Well, it takes ages for that boat to get there. And we're, we're doing top speed. 
it's going to take a long time for this guy to be um, to be um, profitable. A long time. Are we seeing any passenger demand to go out here? Are we seeing any passenger demand over here? Oh, we are. We are, in fact. We're not seeing any passenger demand arriving just here yet. But I do like our new trams running down the main street over here. Should be good. Should be good. Okay, this guy's going to arrive soon. Oh, we've got some people. We've got some people. Maybe we'll get some more. Yeah, more people arriving. Nice, I like it. Not a lot of people here, though. Okay, I think with that in mind, we can now activate that one again. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Turn it, turn it around, buddy. Back to Kitport over there to come and pick up our, how many, however many people over here. 35. Where are you going? Why is this so difficult? <laughs> Crazy. Now this one is on the way. Can we? We picked up nine people. Can I? Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna. Go, not gonna micromanage that um, to that level. Uh, we'll get get it going, and then we'll see what's going on over there. Okay. Now, if we have a look, we potentially. Okay. So we've got big money being created now by those lines. Um, this is a five minutes on the passenger line, and it's pretty full of people. Um, this one, we can probably go ahead and duplicate it, at least one of those trains. Um, if we say manage vehicle, can I go ahead and clone one? Excellent. So one of those can be cloned quite easily. If I go to the line for the fuel, which is for some reason now all the way at the bottom, not making us any money, which I wonder why. Um, but yeah, its rate is pretty low as well. So let's uh, pick that one up. We'll manage the line. Um, actually manage the vehicles on the line and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and clone one of those also and hopefully that means tons more tons more money where that come from okay we need to start moving our um, our food that we're kind of stacking up over here at Malushburg or Maluchburg and uh, well look at how this town is growing man we're giving it a lot of the stuff that it needs now it's getting four of its commodities. Not a, a, a lot, though, but it is getting it. Um, and I'm kind of wondering how these, these, these are going. This is not actually doing anything. Really? Hang on. Can I just double check? Are we not getting tools in here? We are getting tools in here. So why? Why is this thing saying it's not doing anything? It's weird, isn't it? We don't have anything here. Why? What's going on? That is really, oh, did we run out? Oh, we run, ran out. That's why we need more trains. Yeah, we ran out. Okay, that's that's quite simple then. Okay, how many people do we have on this one? It's uh, practically a full load. How many do we have waiting? Uh, almost, almost a full load, but that is making us good money. We can now start looking at further expansions. Also want to do an airport at some point. Uh, we can now do an airport, in fact. There's 42 people on that boat over there. There's not that many. It's only nine on this one. Can I quickly check this line? What is our... It's a 15-minute frequency. We need to get that up a little bit more. So at least two more. Actually, let's manage vehicles. We're going to go ahead and clone a couple more of them. That should do the trick to get that frequency up a little bit. Good. Okay, I want to go down here. Oh, one of the things that I started noticing is that we're actually picking up... Uh, oh, going in the wrong direction? No, not not at all. So I've, it's okay, it's okay. But that that train is an empty train with almost nothing on it, going um, all the way this way. So potentially again, we could put some more stuff. See, why is there logs over here? And this is the thing, right? I just want to double check our line. If I grab our line here, right, that line, and we say manage the line. At from Chaosgrad to uh, to Maluchburg, then back to Chaosgrad, then to Genesis. Now here, you don't, you can't load this or that or that. Actually, you can't load any uh, anything here. You will be unloading whatever you've got potentially. Uh, you should not be unloading 
any of the others. Okay, sh you should only be at the mo at this point in time. You should only be unloading that when you get there the first time. Okay. Then if you go here, you can unload some other stuff. Van upon chaos flow does not have anything for you to load, so no loading over there. And you can go ahead and unload the uh, construction materials. Then if you go back to Genesis now, you will be loading um, some of that. You won't be unloading anything. Okay. Then you go back to Chaos Grad where you will be um, not unloading these guys because they need to go all the way to the end. You will also be, you'll be unloading uh, you won't be unloading anything, to be honest, over there. And you will be loading um, some of those guys. Yep. And then at Malushburg or Maluchburg, you will be unloading those two over there. And then back to Chaos Grad, where you will be loading some of these guys again. See, how simple is that? Okay, good stuff. So now that's uh, an update, just so that we don't get these things, these logs, kind of all the way out over here with no real reason for, for that. <clears throat> but now we've got some additional train capacity on that, and we'll have a look at our, our new service rates now. Okay, what I need to do is need to get some more stuff. Well, potentially we can unload logs over here as well to go up there. And maybe that's what we do. Then we'll actually get some action. Hmm in this town and we'll provide them with slightly more of the stuff that they need Ooh, we'll get very little stuff over here okay and potentially we can get mm, some of that but that's not actually in demand this is a demand uh, over there so what i think we'll do is let's get some trucks to start running that but what i would like us to do is get a bit of a bypass around the around the town if we are doing trucks I would just rather bypass down uh, around, around the outside. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay, let's build build that. Anyway, I'm gonna let that continue to run while I while I grab the streets that I want to build here. And this is not an upgrade. This is a bit of a. Ooh, I don't want. Uh, just do that and just do that. Just like as 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 we do that. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Tie that one in there, run it in through here, turn it and yeah, something like this. That's going to be just fine. Then we'll, yeah, probably about straight is, is, is the right thing to do here for at least a, a section. And then we'll <clears throat> tie it in like so. Yeah, there we go. So now that's a, a pretty decent um, a little bypass around the town there. Uh, I'm just going to want to make sure the guys actually route through that way. And then we'll have our, uh, this guy bring it into town. Okay, good. Now we've got that in place. Let's get ourselves another bit of a truck stop going on. Buildings, truck stop all the way up here. Oh, no, that's not actually going to work, is it? Because we need uh, to get them into into planks first. We need planks. Oh, that's a bummer. No planks are for us. No planks over here. So we can have to. We'll have to bring planks back to go there. Okay. So anyway, that is not going to work then. Anyway, we do want to get started on getting this town growing a little bit more. So we do need to get something connected up here. Oh, there's the planks up there but that's just so far away we'll we'll definitely need to run um to run a train up here and maybe that's what we'll do now um okay let me go here and i'm going to configure this thing and we'll just go and expand um at least a, a tad over here mm, so the question is now how do we well, we can do stops again on this side. It's going to be pretty basic, to be honest, if we do it the way we've done it. Mm. We don't necessarily want to pass through, but we do want to provide ourselves with um, with more 
stops. Okay, so if we go now passenger buildings, passenger platforms, let's get a passenger platform over here. Um, actually, if this is end of the line, no, 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 but we will get a, we'll get a duplicate, we'll get a, 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 se a separate line running into here as well. So I'm going to do something like that as a starting point. Then what we'll do is I'm going to get us another track or two. Well, actually, we can go platform directly now. So if we go platform on there, yeah, that could actually work. Okay, and now we'll do some more tracks. More tracks like so. And then we'll do another platform. Okay, so that that should kind of work. I'm, I'm, I'm very tempted to get rid of that altogether. And the question if we do that is whether we can still actually unload it over here. I think we should. Uh, all, all we do is I'm going to leave that section in place there and it all should work out. Okay, so let's do that. Get out of here. I'm supposed the game so that we can quickly redo this section. Let's trim it back a little bit to give us some room so that we can really run it in. So we'll do something like this. Um, and something like that. Well, actually, no. Okay, stop that for the time being. Cancel that. So if we do this and that. Yeah, it's a little... Hang on. Let's trim it back. I just wanted, I wanted to get... I want it to look really nice. And I do want us to potentially have a line coming out of that one. Okay, so let's do... Let's do the main one into here and then that one into there yeah I think that's that's gonna be about right and then what we'll do is we will tie this one in there and that one uh, can go straight off this way but it could also go in here uh, probably a little closer though something like that maybe Okay, so it can also do that. And then up here, we'll do a switch. Something that's uh, pretty decent. And we'll switch it out to that one as well. It's a pretty interesting little switch that we've got going on right here. So now <clears throat> let's, uh, let's put some... Uh, actually, you can go both in and out, right? Can we do... One way, no. So we can do both directions. So we'll just do, hmm, actually, no. That We don't need that because that's going to cause, I think, chaos here. So we'll just do that. Hmm. It is a little weird now. And then on the other side, we want this guy to be able to go in and also come out there. So let's do, uh, as to potentially wait over there. I think, I think that'll be okay. I think that'll be okay. We'll, we'll work with that. Now, I have to quickly have a look at my at my lines just to make sure we can get these guys to to stop here. Not tram, but in fact train. So main line, please, um, you, in fact, if we manage the line, you at van upon chaos flow, you can actually go into this one. Yeah, I like that idea a little bit better. Okay, that's fine. You go in there. Okay, so that's fine. And then we'll get the other lines. <clears throat> the, this main line, manage that one. At van, you are going to make use of number two over there. Yes, that's excellent. That's fine. I like, I like that idea. What we don't have at this point is a connection over there, and we may have to rejig this a little bit. I'm just thinking about it now. And what I also want to do is the final line, it is the fuel line. If we manage that line on at van here, you will be using the third one over there. So that's kind of all, all good. And over here, you all go out the way you should be doing it. So that should be fine. Okay, so now we've got a ton more capacity over here, and we can now start maybe running some stuff up here. So one of the things that I'm thinking is we can pick up um, some of this, 
to go down here and get on some kind of line which we're not using just yet we can go up here um, we can go into Harlow we can go um, over here and over there it's all a little tough though it's all a little tough okay I'll continue to run the game though and then let's uh, let's have a look at what we can do with our track so if we go and run our track up here that should be fine. I think 160 or 170 up on this line should be just fine. Uh, ooh, it might be a little, could have probably run it a little bit differently. So if we do something like that, now I just want to do a bit of a station maybe in here on the side of it. So let's do, whoopsie, uh, let's do the buildings. We'll get one of these stations. Just the one high-speed catenary, probably lengthening, lengthening it a little. We'll turn it, uh, and I think if I do this and we move the, the, the building, I think we should get it to work. Let me uh, squeeze it a little bit like this. So if we do something like that, uh, maybe something okay let's do that I'm gonna squeeze it there then I'm gonna configure this guy we're gonna get rid of this building oh there's tons of it get rid of all of that and I'm gonna extend it over here so we go cargo buildings do the nice big one uh, something like that maybe and what I would like to see is if we if we do bring in this little, little road, <clears throat> so uh, the, the narrow little rural road, it's this one, right? The country road. Um, and if we then do that, it does in fact tie up there. So that's quite nice. So that will work. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run the, uh, the rail past here, the track. Okay, so the track will run straight past this. And what we'll do is we'll do our very best. Oh! Well, if that's the case, I might as well do, do this and run through it all together. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I didn't really want to do that. But anyway, it is what it is over here now. Where is Where are we heading? We're heading up here. So I think that kind of angle maneuver there is probably about right. Let's see about tying that in. Ooh, that's very tight there. If we do that, yeah, that's better. Don't, don't quite like what we're doing there, but we can uh, readjust all of that. Okay, so there, that's fine. We can run in through there. Now, if we run up here, so if we do this, yeah, I'm kind of thinking we do another station over here. Let's, before we tie that in, Let's do another building over here. We'll bring this one around the other way. We'll tie it in. Can I squeeze in and see if we can get them to touch? Oh, we can. That's actually quite nice if we do that. And then we'll just run by it over here. Nice. That's going to be good. So this will be a shared line. So these non-main line, these branch lines will be like a shared line. So I'm going to try and get it as close as possible over there we're gonna run it past here straight through there i think into town yeah that's good then what we'll do is we'll tie in anyway we'll tie in as once we do the other side actually okay we want to do a little something in here and we'll maybe run it out out there as well mm, to get to pick up some other things yeah so let's do a bit of a terminal station over here so i'm thinking a passenger terminal station uh, right in here and I, I'm not going to even bother too much with uh, I'm just going to put it straight on the main road over there so nice and straight like so I think that's going to be fine one building will be removed over there it's good nice and in town um, I want to do a freight a freight piece as well so let's configure this to add we're not going to need multiple multiple platforms for that. We're just going to grab, make sure we get a platform over here. 
for this guy. It's uh, interesting now that we've got money, we're just going to have repossess some land everywhere we go. And <clears throat> we'll get ourselves a little bit of a passenger uh, or a, pl a platform right over there. How, how about that? Isn't that good? Nice. So now I've got a terminal station right in the middle of Harlow, which I think um, we will rename at the same time while we're here now. And I think this one will go Astral... Um, Astral Dorf, I think. How about that? Oh, no, no, not that, no. Astral Dorf, right? Like a German town. Astral Dorf. And we will go with... Um, A-L-F. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Astral Dorf over here. They've connected two towns today. Didn't think we were going to do that. Um, so, yeah. Astral Descent, there's one for you as well. I hope you uh, you approve of your name uh, or your town's name. But I do kind of like it. It's going to connect up quite nicely over there. Oh, look at these tons of new things. BC4s over here. Nice new uh, road vehicles. Oh, Class A4 over there. And then we've got the Douglas DC3. So, yes, quite keen that we start getting airports up and running. Okay, now... With this line the way it is, I'm going to make sure that we kind of bypass it over here as best we can. Okay, so it'll just be effectively a stop into town over there. Okay. I hope that's okay. That should be okay. And then we can head off. Hmm. Well, the question is if we want to go in here instead to the food, uh, food facility, we may not want it to to go too crazy over there. So let's do, if we do that instead and we try and, okay, let's see, where shall we get the food facility over here? So if we get another one of these guys. Yeah, it's a little, well, would we want, we probably wanted to do a little something like this, right? And that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. We can tie into there. Let's get a, a road to just tie that in. You're going to need a road to tie it in like so, but that's that's going to be perfect. It's going to connect quite easily. Now, this, it means we're going to turn in there. Okay, so we it may end up being quite tight to get there. Uh, ooh. Well, actually, what we'll do is we'll run it like so, and then we'll run it up here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's going to be fine. And then we'll tie it off of there. Ooh, it's a little bit of a... Yeah, uh, I think that's okay. We'll get this one to come out here. As we go up there, oops, and tie in there and tie in like so. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Nice. Now, we've got a little something going over here. So let's um, let's see about getting a nice wide turn into there. Can we get it wider? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. That, that actually works quite a bit better. And <clears throat> then we'll just run, run this one off alongside here to go all the way back and we just want to uh, make sure that we do a little bit of a switch in here somewhere. Uh, probably a little bit set back just to make sure that we can accommodate pretty long trains. You know, something like this maybe. There we go. Nice. Okay, now let's just run this one all the way down. That's good. Um, so if we're saying, we're doing something like this, that's okay. I do like that. Okay. And something like that. And then I think, you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to put some switches in there. So that, uh, so that we don't need to do multiple lines out there. Similarly, I will put a switch in here. I'm not sure where all of this will be necessarily useful, but we will do it. Okay, there we go. 
So now we can start running some stuff over there. Similarly, oh, I still need to extend this uh, second line. Okay, similarly, let's put a switch in here somewhere. Nice and smooth. Ooh, that's not that smooth, actually. 50 is really low. Just feels so, so slow here. It's kind of probably has to do with the turn a little bit. Doesn't matter too much. Let's run that one down this way. We'll get another switch in here. That's better. Now that doesn't want to work, does it? There we go. Even that's a little slower on that on that approach there, and we'll run into town over here. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm thinking I'm quite tempted to kind of run run one of these out like that. Yeah. That's fine, we don't need it much quicker than that. That works quite nicely. Tie that one in there, and then we'll just do another um, switch over here. Really, doesn't, doesn't want to work. Okay, we'll run it from this side instead. There we go, that should be fine. Now, there we go. Now we can do freight and everything over here into van upon chaos flow, and we can have a connection over there. I think now, it's about time for us to do another, um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll put another depot in here. I think a depot um, at the back over here is probably quite useful to us. So let's, um, let's see about tying it in like so. Yeah, so it's almost all part of this complex over here. So we'll, all we do is we'll run it in there and we'll also run it in there. It doesn't really matter because they can just, yeah, we're just going to go into the one over there also. There we go, but that's okay. Now we can actually set up another little line here. So we'll have our branch line go and pick up people over there at Osteldorf um, and bring it into a van upon chaos flow down here. So let's quickly set up a line and I think that's going to make do it for today actually. So we will start it, uh, we'll start it on the other side. Okay. I need to change the name. And we will bring it in over here and it's going to be the passenger line. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted to go. It's perfect like that. We could see about tying in there, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter. This is going to be the... Um, it's train, right? Track. Track. And it's going to be the the Alf van um, passenger line, right? Okay, good stuff. So that should work. Let's get a train on that line. Okay, let's see. Electric locomotives. Is that all we've got? That's 100 kph, so we'll go with that one. Steam locomotives, anything quicker? Wow, look at this one. Look at that one. We can really go quick on this one. Maybe just do the one. But how, how expensive is that to run versus this one? Wow, it's actually better. I think we're going to run the A5. Even though it'll be very quick. I like it. Like Scotsman's 120. This one, I, I like this one. And I like its nice blue color. Let's do it. We'll run the A4 and we'll go passengers, the BC4. I'm going to give it uh, the same nice blue color and we'll do, ooh, that's, that's not, that's not the right, same nice blue color. I think it's more this color. Uh, also not quite. Let's see what else do we have. Is it that thing? Oh, that's, that's about the best. There we go. 40, 60, 80. 80 passengers, 100 passengers. Since we're only going to run the one, I think, that's going to be just fine. Let's do that. 123 meters, 100 passenger capacity. We'll buy it and we will assign it to our new Alpha Van line. And ooh, one more thing, just before we end it off, I do need us to get a few 
um, signals in here. So we'll just do maybe a signal over there, a signal over here somewhere, and then we'll start doing a few signals in a few locations there, 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 and maybe there, uh, actually on this side. There we go. Then we'll just run that one. Uh, and that's not quite right. Let's get rid of this one. Here we go. Oh, and it's like the flash. I like it. Um, a few more. Like so. Like that. And maybe like that. We'll have to see about all of this, but that should be okay right there. And one more right over there. There we go. Did we pick up anybody? 28 people. My goodness. That's not bad. So straight out of the bat, this one is going to run a pretty decent train. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. So let's uh, ride this one out to the end. Um, there we go. This is on our new line. So guys, thank you so much for joining us. This is the end of this episode. Um, we've got a couple of new towns connected onto the, the lines um, via modes and different kinds of vehicles. So that's cool. Um, please remember this is the planning by committee series. So if you would like to see something else, do some, have us do something else or make a change or add something new, please leave those comments down below or better yet, join us on the Discord where you can, uh, can come and have a discussion with all of us over there on the community and uh, and we can decide together what we're going to do next yes guys so thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye bye